everyone! Welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 7, Week 6, Episode 2! I am your host, Squee, and Piff is your host, Piff! I am also host, Piff, with your other host, Squee. Hello, everyone! Welcome, okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we've got the first match of this episode, match three of the week. The Valkyries versus the Saiyans. This is a divisional match. The Valkyries at 3-2, and two, the Saiyans at 2-3. and three. This is a very important match for a few reasons. Reason number one. Dragon Ball Warriors at the top of their division are 4-1. and one. If they keep getting wins and people don't catch up to them, they're going to start pulling away big time. Reason number two. The Valkyries and the Saiyans are only one win apart from each other. So if the Saiyans win this match, the teams will be tied. That should be enough reason for either team to desperately want this win. Reason number three. Because I want to see violence. It's true. You should have seen him last week. <laughs> Good lord. No I love for you. Lost him in the battlefield and he was just like, no, pulls out whip. <laughs> <laughs> they Look, look, all right. I am no worse than every Pokemon game ever made. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's do this. The Valkyries versus the Saiyans. I'm really excited for this match. Let's see who wins it. I'm also extremely excited for this match. I honestly... I'd say the Vals probably have the slight advantage here. And I'm not even going off their win-loss records. I'm just thinking from the strength of the team. But they have uh, Pan in this week. And they've got... Um, Trunks so, out, who, you, you know, Pan's never been the strongest member of the team, whereas the Saiyans have a pretty solid lineup this week. God, I'm so ready for freaking division. Yeah! yeah. Find the numbers. Okay. Yes! <laughs> that was that was yes. an important building, Pan. Pan, that was a really important to not blow no, up the building. She's divided. Look, we, we expect... Her do math, no, we okay? expect this from Vegeta. He don't care, Vegeta. but Pan, I expected better than you. Then you, for Like, you. four divided by nine, that's just not even going to be a whole number afterwards. No. If, okay. We need to talk. Divisional match does not mean they sit down and do long division problems. Oh, she's gonna freaking divide his what? face. It Look bounced at that. off of her! It bounced off of her! Did you see that? And he tries again. And she cries. <laughs> she she's, she's doing a long division across his face. This is incredible. No, no, she's no, been no, doing no. Doing some don't, grade A homework. Don't, don't, a don't try and sugarcoat that. He went to hit her, she cried and played the pity card, and he stopped because he couldn't do it. Oh my god! That's that's manipulative. I love it. See, this is how you do math. You build a robot and shoot a rocket at somebody. <laughs> Yay, science! Final card. Okay, he's gonna try a third time. No. <laughs> you think he's getting frustrated? You know what? Maybe if he just put down his freaking calculator glasses and actually did some freaking hands-on shit, he might actually win. It's but true. No. He's actually been doing nothing but B2s lately. He needs to maybe get in there and try some melee. See? Pan's got the right idea. Kick him in the face. Freaking Punch him in the gluteus nice maximus. Pencil and paper divisional action right now. I, I just want to point out that Pan literally punched his gluteus maximus into the ground. And he dodged it and it a fourth time! Scouter Vegeta is getting trounced and can't connect with a single B2. Has to be frustrating. <laughs> you, you see, you, she, she said that she's really math right now. She said mad, Piff! Mad! Real math right now. <laughs> it's incredible. Wow. Holy crap. Crap! Pan just she took down one of the strongest to, members like, of the Saiyans without even trying. I would hate to be in a competition against her. I do not think I could possibly. She might get grabbed oh out. Oh my god! Yeah, knows. <laughs> just not even care about his freaking ultimate. F that. <laughs> that wasn't even ultimate. That was his ultimate. But still, what did they put in her cereal this morning? Freaking, she likes math. Okay. 
She enjoys the concept oh, of a Oh, nice. Pan, you dodged it. Why did you cartwheel into it? No, individual it's, it's always a take a give. So you have one number over another one. Uh huh. Sometimes it goes lower and sometimes it goes higher. Uh huh. It's important to make sure you get that balance, though. And finally, Bardock's starting to really pummel Pan down. Um, and starting to catch up a lot on this lead that Pan had. Pan needs to do some damage or tag or something. Nice block there. But, I mean, if he takes her out like this after only losing half a bar of health, then all the work she's done to take out Scout of Vegeta is going to be... Yeah. Not, not... Well, okay. I will say this. It hasn't been negated. Scout of Vegeta is one of their strongest members, and for Pan, one of their weakest, to take out one of the Saiyan's strongest, really well done. And a nice rock throw from Aureli. You know, this is unfair. I think about it, Piff. Aureli is math. Yeah. yeah. She's made out of math. That's she's... exactly why she's going to be extremely strong in this divisional match. I mean... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So she... She divided that damage into like an eighth. <laughs> I guess so. See, this is like the other team doesn't understand about the whole power of math thing, and the freaking Valkyries <laughs> they're know exactly Saiyans. what to do. They're Saiyans. They're not exactly um, the math type. Well, and that's why they're going to lose this match. Oh my God! An ultimate. They do connects. not respect. They do not respect the intelligence that is needed for a divisional match. <laughs> See, yeah. She just okay. divided herself into three people, and now if he gets one. Oh he's my obviously god! Obviously, going to be the, the under number. Twenty thousand points of damage. Jeez. Yeah, this this is a numbers game, and they're winning. Yeah, they are. Can King Vegeta change this? Can he turn it around? He's got max power. He could fire off an ultimate, or not. Jeez. Aureli doesn't even care that he has max power. It did keep dodging. He did. And he's back up to max power. He's actually... He's he's going a whole number right now. And that's pretty ballsy in a divisional match. <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Hang on. Let me regroup for a second. Aureli <laughs> is only the second member of their team. So they still have Fasha and 18. Oh god, excited! She's gonna get health back! That's not good. And... Gosh. She, she just got a full chunk of her life back. I'm yeah. quite sure it was a fourth of her life. Yeah, yeah, but see, how are you going to explain this one, man? Uh, either that's addition or multiplication. That has nothing to do with division. Oh, yeah, it was a fourth of her HP. That's a fraction. That's not a division. Fractions are divisions. Uh, you know what? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, yes. That, yes. <laughs> He's going ape. Not this is gonna help him, I think. He is. He is. This is not the game that he wants to play. He's multiplying his strength. He needs to divide that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you should not be laughing this hard at this. <laughs> <laughs> but I am. All right, Aureli, the Valkyries with a huge lead. King Vegeta, it's getting a little bit of health back, but. He needs to tag. I don't think it. No, he's uh, he's down. No, he's see, down. he should have actually split into multiple people instead of getting himself stronger. That was his problem. <laughs> Super energy wave volley. She dodged all of it. And the cha to go back That's, to uh, to get some boosts. Gallic gun that connects. Only six thousand points here. of damage though. She's at max power. Vegeta just expending all of his key. And this and is not I, looking I, good for the Saiyans. No, if Aureli pulls out another ultimate, it might actually end this match right here. Oh, that the miss. ping missed. Lucky. Yeah. Lucky Vegeta. Those, I will say that at least they have some pretty good odds going on. Another divisional thing. Oh, <laughs> 
And then finally, they managed to take a Rayleigh down, but Vegeta, with three bars of health, has to take on Fasha and Android 18. Not impossible. One person took down two people. Yep. Wonder I Not impossible, but a really tough fight for him, especially against Fasha. Nice smash attack combo from Fasha, and Vegeta cannot afford to lose health like this. Mm -hmm. He's got to go on the offensive and keep on the offensive. It's very true. Nicely done. Now, Fasha, I, I see her pulling out a calculator right now. She, I'm, I'm not quite sure if that's exactly what she needs to do in this. I think Vegeta finally un understood that he needs to look deep down himself and really figure out how could he actually get weaker. How is that possible? You, you throw away your calculator and you say, screw it, I'm going, going to use it by hand. And look, he's doing pretty well. He is. Sasha has some natural skill, but I mean... He... Oh my god! The asphalt <laughs> burn on her face has <laughs> got to be brutal right now. Uh, no, In Vegeta's doing a good job against Fasha, but he can't afford it because he's got 18. He, you know, this match is over. There's no way Vegeta's going to take down 18. Even if he gets Fasha. Even if he pulls off an ultimate here. Even if he um, gets back up, which he's not gonna. Well done, the Vals winning their match against the Saiyans, going up to 4 and 2, while the Saiyans drop to 2 and 4. Nicely done, Vals. Sorry, uh, my attention was divided. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Match four! We've got the Super Saiyans versus the Blades. Now, uh, the Blades. The Super Saiyans are at the top of their division in North Kai at four and one. The Blades are near the bottom of their division at two and three. But... We've seen the Blades have some fantastic matches, um, and I still think they're a very strong competitive team. They've got a good uh, uh, lineup this week. They've got, what, Blade Trunks, Cyborg Tao, Janimba, Tapion. Um, I think they could win this match, but I'm definitely going to call them the underdogs. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is against the Super Saiyans. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. is has always been always been a strong team. I don't think they've never been a weak team. It is they have definitely been something to be feared in every single season of this, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I agree, but especially since nothing can change during the season. But <laughs> that doesn't mean the Blades can't overcome them. Let's see how this goes. Super Saiyans versus the Blades. What are we? What are we gonna look at over? Goku eating? That's not a match. That's that's the best match. <laughs> that's the best match. Now you gotta remember, I'm trying to figure out who this map would really favor. Hell likes to eat B2s like candy. I'd say that actually favors the Blades because Blades tend to be a, uh, they have good B2s, but they do tend to be a melee team. Uh, as much as a B2 and you have a lot of Super Saiyans who rely like adult Gohan who rely on B2 spamming So I am not saying that that would probably make or break a match But I think that the the hell map would favor the blades a little bit High-speed class Vegeta wins it So you were gonna say Does anybody actually like question why they're giant jelly beans in hell? No why would you... Vegeta wins it again. Trunks has got to stop doing those clashes with him. Maximum I mean, Flasher! Like a lot of them. Um, that did 6,000 points of damage, and Vegeta taking an early lead. Even like a lot of them. Yeah, I know. Don't question it. Do you, do you think jelly beans go to hell? Yes! That's exactly what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and they done. deserve it. That was ex a well-timed explosive A if he just it ran was. directly into that. Oh, this is going to hurt. Wow, oh, maximum flash and 9,000 points of damage right there. And Vegeta is tearing his son apart. Emotionally, physically, you name it. Just all of the ease. Yeah, I, I think he just went, uh, like, full, like, emo son. He's like, I don't need my dad. I got a sword. <laughs> It's a collector's item. 
What a coincidence! I was just thinking I don't need a son. <laughs> nice dodge from Vegeta. I don't know about Trunks, uh, some words of bravado there. Gonna have my sword he's collection. gotta stop doing that. Obviously Vegeta was gonna win that clash. I've always wondered why they actually hold around weapons like swords when you can obviously do more with energy <laughs> blasts and hitting people with your fists. I don't know, did you see him chasing Vegeta down with his sword? Yes. John Ember actually yeah, I can see the job. reason why his sword would actually do well, because he just made that out of nowhere. Yep. Dude, like, partway through the movie, he just looks at his sword, dissipates it, and just starts laughing because he realizes he doesn't need that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and he does not get to use his max power, but he's charging right back up to it. No, Vegeta does not let him. All right, then. <laughs> do a little jig now, do, do. <laughs> Didn't you know that's what you need to do to transform into Ascended Saiyan? Do a little jig. I wonder why it's imperfect. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best jig. No. No, it's not. It's and, not even close to the fusion dance. And Vegeta taking J uh, Nimba down to two bars of health, too. This is not a good start for the Blades. They're going to have to hope Tapion and Cyborg Tao pulls out an amazing performance. And John Nimber has to step it up too, or Vegeta's gonna take out half their team. Ah! Max power from Vegeta. John Nimber sitting back, being a little timid there, a little shy. And now he's going and trying to take Vegeta out before he has a chance to use his max power or not. Look at him go. Spirit Breaker Look Cannon misses. <laughs> you think John Nimber was like teasing him on, trying to get him to do it? He was he was waiting out the clock. Yeah, That's, that is a well, it's it's a it's a good strategy mm -hmm. to have. And down goes Vegeta, blasted away. Finally taking a Vegeta down, and in comes uh Gohan, adult Gohan, Super Saiyan one, the spammer of the team. That and his ultimate is nothing to scoff at. Yeah, it's very true. Energy Blast Volley, though, not his ultimate, still does 5,900 points of damage. And John Nimba I'd say needs to attack. that's not worth it. I, I don't think that was worth I it. I agree. I think actually taking him down completely would have been a lot better. Yeah, because now no, I completely agree. And uh, he's tagged, and uh, really lucky break for the uh, Blades, honestly. John Nimba to be able to capitalize on that break. In comes Cyborg Tal. Explosive Madon connects for 6,500 points of damage. If Cyborg Tao can do a decent job against Adult Gohan, they might be able to get back into this. And he is the man who can't lose. It's true. He's Cyborg Tao. How can he lose? Right? He could get the um, the crap kicked out of him. And his team he could, could lose. just not attack at all and just hover up and down a lot. <laughs> <laughs> his team can certainly lose, but Cyborg Tao? No. No. He knew, it's always someone else's fault. <laughs> like, after the match, he's like, It wasn't me! I didn't lose! Gosh, it's... It's a, it's a man who knows fashion. I mean, nice, like, GameCube purple helmet, rose petal pink uh -huh. clothing, uh -huh. with a kill you on his back. And just a, uh, one of those, um, what are, what are they called, um, I had a name for it, um, Born Star Mustaches, that's the one. That's the one, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was blanking Porn Star for some reason. Full power energy volley, and gosh, Gohan living up to his name by being a B2 spammer to the extreme. Cyborg Tao not doing anywhere near the damage he needs to be doing. His best bet right now is to throw out a B2 and tag. Oh, I don't think he's going to get that get chance. That chance. No, he might! Adult Gohan tags out. Will Trunks let Cyborg Tao tag? No. <laughs> no. He hadoukened him. Or adoukened him, or whatever it's called. Hadouken. Hadouken! And John Nimba comes in. His ultimate! 
blocked by Trunks for free. That is the worst kind of thing for Janimba. He's got mass blast stocks. He could conceivably use it to a good effect if he fights well. But I think, honestly, yeah. it's going to come down to Tapion and how strong a performance he gives. That's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now you say that. <laughs> There's no one left. It's all up to Tapion. I'm not even sure what to say at this point. As Super Saiyans have just been doing a freaking trouncing against Team Blade. Indeed. Very, very true. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to call this match. I like Tapion, even, but even in his best days, I don't think he can take on everyone that's left. I think there's, what, three people left? Yeah, at least. I think there's there might be their entire team there. I think they that's might true. Have yeah, just tagged. Yeah, Vegeta just tagged. So I don't think Tapion can take on the whole team. He can put up a good fight to be sure, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this match. Trunks you trying to finish him off. You're gonna call it, mm -hmm. but you never actually call it. No, <laughs> you no. See where it goes. No, 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 no. What I'm saying, what I mean is, when I call this match, I'm saying I am saying that I am convinced. I know who the winner is. I'm not saying I'm throwing in the towel because I like the violence. You can't, you can't throw in another player in the middle of the match. You can't just throw in a like that. The towel. If the towel. With an L. <laughs> oh, how old? <laughs> He's throwing towel in there. What, why am I here? Just a freaking, like, limp towel just, like, gets thrown onto the field. Oh, man. And a devastating defeat for the Blades as they fall to 2 and 4, and the Super Saiyans raise up to 5 and 1, staying ahead of the androids by one battle. Well done, Super Saiyans. All right, that is it for this episode, folks. Next episode, we get two more exciting matches. Piff, tell them what they are. The new card! Uh-huh. Oh, you you want me to actually say? Yeah, okay, I want you to actually Muscles Rugrats versus... Wait a second. <laughs> yes, the, the matches themselves were going to fight each other. It is the Muscles vs. Rugrats vs. Uh, Ginyu vs. Derp. It's a, it's a three-way uh, divisional match. Um, <laughs> Alright. I hope you enjoy it. Indeed. As much as I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> See you next time, guys.